Code monkey get up get coffee Code monkey go to job Code monkey have boring meeting With boring manager Rob Rob say code monkey very diligent But his output stink His code not function Good evening people Frosty Knives here with what could possibly be my final update in Vermont. Yes, that's right. In six days, I will be moving. I will be moving out of state. So this could possibly be the last update you get from me from this state. I don't know if you can hear the echo in this place, but uh, everything's packed up and boxed up and ready to move. So, uh, I just wanted to show you a few of the things that I picked up. I haven't been buying a whole lot because as a wise person once told me, um, that wise person being my wife, the more you buy, the more you pack. So, I've been trying to keep it on the download. But that doesn't mean I'm living under a rock. So, I have uh, picked up a few things here and there on the cheap. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just take a run through it. Starting with, here's a cheap pop. Uh, Megadeth has a new CD out. Here it is. Super Collider came out. Picked that up today. Um, you probably can't see that very well because it's got one of those 3D lenticular covers. But um, I And I've always liked Megadeth's artwork. And for those of you who may not know, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Their mascot's name is Vic Rattlehead. And in this one, they made Vic Rattlehead look an awful lot like Iron Man. I know, that's pretty badass. But anyway, I picked it up. Uh, if you're into uh, metal or old school metal or things like that, you might want to take a look at it. Here's a, better, here's a better picture of that artwork. That's just really cool. I always, I always love the artwork in metal albums. They're always so, they're so neat and inventive kind of thing. So that, that's just a cheap pop. I... Actually, didn't know this album was out, so I was at Best Buy today looking for something else and found that and said, well, I have to buy it because there's just those things in life that you have to buy, and that's one of them. Okay, uh, the other thing that I picked up, and I did also get this at Best Buy, I picked up a triple feature on Blu-ray of V for Vendetta, uh, The Watchmen, and uh, Constantine, uh, all three movies on, on Blu-ray. I have seen V for Vendetta when it came out, and I really enjoyed that movie. Uh, I watched Constantine when it came out. I also watched it again on this Blu-ray, and, you know, I did enjoy the movie. I have never read the comic. I believe it came from a comic series called Hellblazer, um, and I never read the comic, so I don't have the problems with this movie that the fanboys have. So as a movie, it wasn't bad. It's got a pretty decent story, some good action sequences, and Keanu Reeves is Keanu Reeves. He's almost kind of like Nicolas Cage in where he kind of acts the same way in every movie. And uh, The Watchmen. And I did watch The Watchmen on Blu-ray. Boy, is that... I was not ready to watch a three-hour movie. I guess I should have paid more attention when I popped it into my Blu-ray player, but it was three hours long. You, you kind of have to mentally prepare when you want to watch a three-hour movie, but um, the movie was pretty good. It's very dark and gritty, and again, I have never read the graphic novel, which came out in the 80s, but after watching this, uh, I think I will I will pick it up and I will, I will read it. Um, I have been told that the movie is probably the best adaptation as far as staying true to the source material of all comic book movies. So pretty much what you see is what you get with some minor um, changes. And what I like is that if you look at the, the discs, V for Vendetta, Constantine, and The Watchmen. So these are three individual Blu-rays. And as if you these are three blu-rays as if you were to buy each of these movies individually and they each one of them comes with all of the uh, Director's cuts the extended cuts the special editions the bonus features Everything you would have got as if you uh, Would have bought each movie individually and I picked this up for ten dollars at Best Buy So that's a really good deal for everything that you get and So that was that and I also picked up 
Uh, for those of you who may have seen my video that I did in collaboration with John D when I went to uh, Rhode Island, um, in case you haven't seen it, this is I picked this up down there, the Digibook version, Blu-ray of Poltergeist. And uh, it's cool because it's, a, it's it's an actual book. So it's got all book-like things and it's got introductions and, uh, you know, stuff about the movie and stuff about the cast and all that. And, and uh, you can you can read you can read about about it. And uh, we did wind up watching this at his house while we were there. This really looks good on Blu-ray. They did a nice job transferring it over to Blu-ray. Um, it knows what scares you. This was the second horror movie I ever saw as a child. I saw this in the drive driving, and it scared the piss out of me when I was, when this came out. I think I was like nine years old, um, or maybe a little older, maybe ten. No, 1982. I was nine. So, um, yeah, uh, we watched it again and, uh, you know, it's, um, it still looks good and it's still a creepy movie and the, the Blu-ray of it looks really nice. And the final two things that I purchased that I bought, uh, or games, I've never showed you guys games. I've never showed you guys my game collection. I've showed you my Transformers collection. I've showed you some of my DVDs. I never have, we never got into games. Maybe we should start getting into games. Maybe that's what we'll do when we get down to Florida. I don't know. Unpack, when you start unboxing things, that's, that's where you start making videos because now you start, you're unboxing things and you go, oh, look, I want to show the world what I have. So, um, I picked up for, again, for $10, uh, for my Xbox 360, I picked up the Ultimate Rapture Edition of Bioshock. Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2. And uh, it's both games, and it comes with all of the download content, all of the DLC for both games. So for $10 to get, and it comes in a nice little swanky cover. So for $10 to get both game, full games, plus all of the download content, that's a heck of a deal right there. Because that's over $40 worth of download content. Um, and it also comes with some neat little things. They put this out. They put this edition out in order to plug the new game, Bioshock Infinite. So it comes with some Bioshock Infinite swag, um, which I do intend to play. Um, but I wanted to play Bioshock again, and I wanted to play Bioshock 2 since I've never played it. Bioshock 2 did include multiplayer, but I highly doubt the servers are running. And if the servers are still running, I highly doubt anybody's playing Bioshock 2 nowadays, but now nah, I could be pleasantly surprised. So, um, you know, I've been playing Bioshock again lately just to pass the time while I'm waiting to move. And um, it's a genuinely creepy game. And the, this game is, is really good. It's really dark. It's really demented. It's a first person shooter set in a survival horror setting. So if you like survival horror, if you like first-person shooters, if you just like creepy games, it would uh, behoove you to pick up this edition um, and play these two games because uh, the, the, the stories are downright creepy. The music is creepy. A lot of the game takes place in the dark. You're in an underwater city that's basically falling apart. Um, so without giving away too much stuff... Um, if, if you're looking for something new to play, here's a good deal at a good price. And the second thing I picked up, also a video game series. Um, these were two games that came out on the PS2 that for some reason I missed or I chose not to buy. I'm not really sure what the reasoning was. They re-released them on the PS3. If you've noticed, they've been re-releasing collections onto the ps3 and the xbox 360 high def transfers of old games from the old xbox or the old ps2 and this is one of them so i picked up for this was twenty dollars and this is a really good price i picked up the uh ico and shadow of the colossus collection um and these are very unique games in that they're 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 puzzle games well they're they're sort of puzzle games and they're sort of sandbox games um this one Unfortunately, this is only a disc, so both games are on this disc. Um, but I, I hear Ico is very short. I guess there's an achievement where you can beat the game, to, where you get an achievement for beating the game in under two hours, so Ico is very short. 
Um, so, but in Ico, you are a um, Ico. You are a uh, outcast from your village who gets went, sent to a castle where they where you wind up meeting a girl and you have to save her and lead her through the castle and fight demon creatures. Um, that's the gist of it. I never played it, so but that's what I read about. And then Shadow of the Colossus is basically um, a big giant sandbox world where you have to ride around on your horse. And the entire purpose of the game is for you to hunt colossi. And there's 16 colossi in the game. Um, and there's no dialogue. There's really no story. It's just you on a horse hunting these things. And, um, you know, they're both puzzle games. And th they came out a while back. And, you know, they didn't get a lot of fanfare. They didn't get a lot. Not a lot of people were jumping at the bit to, to buy these games. But over the years, they have garnered good reviews and they've garnered a pretty big fan base. And so now they're they're uh, they're sort of cult favorites for people that are looking for um, for really unique, niche, niche games, games that are that are kind of uh, interesting and unique. So I picked that up today for twenty dollars for two games. And that's not bad. I think probably when they came out, they were 40 a piece maybe so that's all i got one ico and the colossus bioshock one and two poltergeist three pack of comic book movies and a cd and that's all i have for this evening um so like I said, this may be my last, this could very well be my last update in the state of Vermont. The next time you see this smiling face, I'll be 1,600 miles south in a much warmer climate. So the videos will still be here. The updates will still be here. The reviews will still be here. I'll just be doing it warmer. So until next time, like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies, and I'll see y'all on the flip side.